Hello, my name is Toby Ennis. I'm an acute care surgeon at University of Utah Health and member of the Committee on Emergency General Surgery. In this EAST Minute, we will review the EAST Practice Management Guideline addressing the surgical management of pancreatic necrosis. When pancreatic necrosis complicates acute pancreatitis, it not only increases morbidity and mortality, but also leads to a complex clinical picture which requires nuanced surgical decision making. In order to provide evidence-based recommendations to guide this decision-making process, the Eastern Association for the Surgery of Trauma organized a committee to develop practice management guidelines using GRADE methodology. This committee considered outcomes reported in the literature. Only mortality was considered unanimously to be critical for the decision-making process. With the focus of decreasing mortality in mind, the committee formulated three PICO questions focusing on the timing of surgical intervention, the use of adjuncts to surgical intervention, and the use of minimally invasive approaches compared with open approaches and their impact on mortality. A search of the Medline database identified 283 articles, of which 88 pertained to these PICO questions. There were 17 studies pertaining to the timing of surgery. Despite there being an evolution of the definition of early versus late in the literature, all time frames evaluated favored delaying surgery. A meta-analysis of the data demonstrates a significantly increased risk of mortality with early surgery. The overall quality of the evidence was graded as low. Despite the low quality of evidence, the committee considered that the magnitude of effect would result in significant patient preference. Therefore, it gave a strong recommendation to delay pancreatic necrosectomy until at least day 12. In the evolution of surgical debridement of pancreatic necrosis, less invasive adjuncts have allowed surgery to be deferred or obviated altogether. Review of the literature demonstrated 33 to 35 percent of patients were managed with percutaneous drainage alone. However, there was insufficient power to show difference in mortality. Regarding endoscopic intervention, several case series support its safety and feasibility, but only one study compared endoscopic to surgical intervention. It demonstrated an insignificant trend toward lower mortality, but also a significant increase in number of interventions required with endoscopy. Quantitative synthesis of these 33 studies did not reveal an effect on mortality. The overall quality of the evidence was deemed to be very low. Due to the potential to defer or obviate surgery, the committee made a conditional recommendation for surgical debridement if the patient fails to improve after percutaneous or endoscopic intervention. 38 studies addressed PICO question 3, including one randomized control trial. The PANTER trial showed similar mortality, but a significant improvement in the composite outcome of death or major morbidity with minimally invasive surgery. Additionally, it showed that 35% of step-up patients did not require necrosectomy. Meta-analysis showed that a minimally invasive approach was associated with significantly reduced mortality rates. Even with one randomized control trial, the quality of the evidence was deemed low. Despite this, the magnitude of effect would factor heavily into patient preference, leading the committee to offer a strong recommendation in favor of minimally invasive surgical intervention. In summary, the EAST Practice Management Guideline regarding surgical management of pancreatic necrosis made the following recommendations. A strong recommendation to delay surgery until day 12 and possibly day 30 from presentation to reduce mortality. A conditional recommendation for the liberal use of percutaneous interventions as a means to delay surgical intervention a strong recommendation that patients undergo a step-up approach to surgical intervention. The committee additionally recommended that future investigations focus on optimally defining timing of intervention and a direct comparison between endoscopic intervention 
and minimally invasive surgery.